got a bit of beef stock on it, right. I think, which again we got from, we just found it in the cupboard, we've had it from HelloFresh. Right, let me stir it, oh wow, there's a lot of moisture in there. You can't chat to them and you can't ring them. They've taken his money but we've heard nothing from them. Yeah, well that's typical, isn't it? Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Breakfast ready. Nick's just getting all the bits out for the stew. I'm gonna put it in, and then when we're back tonight, it should be ready. This afternoon, it should be nice and cooked. Yeah. So when Nick's is back, he means we're off for a walk. Although we planned it yesterday when the weather was beautiful, and hoping today was going to be beautiful, and it's pretty crap to be fair. Um, but we'll still go for a walk. Um, hopefully, at some point. IKEA is going to be delivering, so we'll get back to that once we get a text message. Um, so, what? Well, 10 minutes away, so if yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like, it's the text, we can, we can get back, in five minutes, can get back very so. quickly. We'll have his breakfast and then we'll get off on his walk. Parsley, yeah? Tin of chopped tomatoes. So we've got a, a, like a stew pack in here, haven't we? Casserole pack. Casserole pack. 500 grams of beef, some garlic, some. Um, chopped tomatoes, once it goes in. Which for and some it, reason we've got left over from HelloFresh. Um, I think one of the ingredients went off so we didn't, we used the rest of it but didn't use the tomatoes. So we're putting in Tesco Irish fat diced beef. And beef always tastes absolutely amazing, doesn't it, in a slow cooker? Yep. It, it like does. melts in your mouth. There we go. Just need, can you just run me a couple of hundred mil of stock off? Like 150 mil, so just a cup, cup, a like cup full, yeah. And I've got a, um, a beef stock cube to put in it as well. Got a bit of beef stock on it, right? I think. Which again we got from, we just found it in the cupboard. We've had it from HelloFresh. Beef it smells very pudding. beefy, like it smells like beef monster munch. <laughs> Next, it smells delicious, right? Give it a big stir. It's got everything in there with the gusto spoon. And you can put you put you can put extra veg in there. Ooh, what's that? Mm. Oh, it's end of a leaf, actually. So, give it a mix round like that. 100, well, about 200 ml of water in there. We're just saying, we've loved HelloFresh and Gusto and all that, and they're so convenient. Wait a minute. But it's put in... really nice just to get back to making things in it off top of your head and coming up with your own stuff. I mean, I think this is the first time we've used the slow cooker for a, a proper meal, isn't it? We've done lava cake in it and stuff. Well, yeah, we cooked the, we cooked the cake, didn't we? Yeah. So... How long do you think this will take? Um, well, I'm going to put it on low and then we'll put it back on when we get in. Yeah. Right, it's on. Oh, it's warm already. Are you sure it's on low? Yeah, yeah, that'll turn black. I don't know why it turns black, but it's it's the vapour of that that flavours the... Um... Right, let's go and get ready for oh us. Oh my walk. god, it smells amazing as well. Can you smell it? Yeah, and then we'll see what it's like when we get back. I've put it on very low, so we're going to keep it on for eight hours, this one. Right, first time I've got my Lodge Guys top on, and I've got to say, it's absolutely baking in it. I hope it's, it's not mine, it's not on. No, 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 I've got my own. Um, I hope I'm not going to be too warm. So before we go out for our walk, which we're about to do, Ooh. let's have a Luke's at this. Oh, I like it when it stirs. It goes I might have put a bit too much water in actually, because mm -hmm. a lot of the water comes out of the veg. It will thicken up though. Right, let me stir it. Oh, there's a lot of moisture in there. But the beef's already cooking. Still pink. Got the really whole potatoes there. Oh, we've got many hours before we're going to be eating this. And then we've got some dumpling mix to go with it. And um, some mashed potatoes. So it's going to last us a couple of days easily at oh, least. Yeah. This. With the dumplings and yeah. the mash, at least two days. Although, when you eat it, fully day. Excuse me. Let's go out for a walk. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me But you showed me how to believe 
still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Right, we're heading back but we've just called a um, a little stall that's selling ice cream. What have you got there? A nice tea. cup of tea. Cup of tea to keep me warm. I've got um, chocolate and coffee flavour. Cappuccino. You've got and what? I've got hocus pocus and honey and ginger and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, do you think that stool already? Yeah. Can't wait to smell it when we walk back in. Let's walk past then. This walk you brought us on is taking a lot longer than I thought. Are we there yet? I want my stew. Well, on. once we open that apartment door, I hope I get hit by a waft, a waft of stew. What are we going to know about IKEA? No, they're not text, have they? I don't think it'll be in stock. Because it wasn't in stock when I ordered it, and then an half an hour later it was, but nobody else in the country's got it. I think it's an error. We've been trying to call IKEA to see where his delivery is, and the, what is it? They're not the open until the call center. Yeah. The chats is an automated virtual bot. You can't chat to them and you can't ring them. They've taken his money, but we've heard nothing from them. Yeah, well, that's typical, isn't it? Right, we're back. And a few things have happened since the last update. We were on our way back, and IKEA called to say they were on the no way. texts. No. So it was a little bit rushed, so. For the last half hour, well, we had to get back very quick. And for the last half an hour, we've been bringing it all from upstairs. 16 bloody boxes. Yeah, so we have some uh, new things. Nick might put a few of these things together. It's all balcony, balcony stuff. Or um, we might wait until tomorrow now. Um, so we came in and there was a beautiful smell of stew. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. The dumplings are in the oven. I've just whipped them up. Yeah. Um, and then the mash. It's in the microwave. Yeah. I would have made homemade, but we've been busy. Yeah. And then we're going to eat. And then, um, I don't know what we're doing there. Um, then we're going to start assembling that. I might let you help. It's a hobby for you don't to do tonight. Me. It's your hobby. Don't tell me. You've got a cod match. It's your hobby. It's not my hobby. Well, I can create a cod match. Right. Dumplings are done. With a little bit of flecky, I'm going to try it. Oh, huh. me too. Mm. Me too. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? What? Biscuits. They do, they do taste like biscuits. In America. Hmm. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna submerge this in all the sauces. Let them just let them a salt for a bit. And then um, I'm gonna reheat the mash. So we're having dumplings on pancake day and um, stew the day before Ash Wednesday. Is that what is that what Ash Wednesday is about? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Well, all I know is you have stew. I don't actually know what, what the, um, you know, I think it's some kind of religious thing in it. I don't really know. Um, so we're going to eat this. Are we sitting at the table again? Um, yeah. So yeah. the table now until the. Um, we need to get some time outside to go on out with them later and get some placemats to so ruin the table. I'm hoping that the shop will be open soon because I've seen some in the range. Is this mash ready now? No, it needs to go back in, actually. Right, time to serve. The mash is in, the dumplings have soaked. So we're going to make this spread over two meals. So we're having three dumplings each tonight. Um, hold on. No, we're not, that's going to eat them all. So, one and a half each tonight. Is the tea ready? Nearly. Let me just um, try not to use it all. Well, there's tons in there. No. But Is not, this not coriander? No, it's parsley. Oh, that's right, you, then. You're fine, I'll, don't I'll allow some on then. Right, so that's tonight's. Gonna watch a Voyager. Uh, yeah. Right, that stew was beautiful. Um, we had it quite a while ago. It's, it's probably maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, Nick's been working on something. And when I open this door, he's going to be raging and fuming about it because it's not going uh, very well. All I hear is him moaning. What you're going to hear is the laptop hitting the wall. How's it going, Sweet Pea? How's it going? It's going back to Amazon because it's <laughs> it. <laughs> That's why. It got a new Wi Fi extender. It's Shit, stop swearing. I have to beep it and it's more more editing for me. So um, it's not working then. Or is it? A, yeah, I'm glad you're just getting the sun tan from the spotlight. Is it the tool man that's um, blaming his tools? No, it's just not working, it's shit. So, while Nick's doing that, 
Um, we got a, a thank you card in the post today, which I'll show you quickly. Thank you. And it says, Nick and Lee, I have sent you my traditional recipes book of all the recipes done so far because no Nick likes cooking and Lee, some of these recipes are so easy. You said you would like a dog, but Nick can't go near one. So I remember that back in 1982, I painted a sheepdog called Jess. There we go. Uh, she lived in the lodge, uh, in a lodge, just like you lovely guys. You have kept me and my wife Alison in these lockdowns with all um, ideas, Nick and Lee's ideas with journaling and uh, DIY. Keep up the good works with the vlogs. We look forward to see them each day. Lots of love, Mr. Kim, Mr. Alison, Morton. Uh, P.S. Thanks for your lovely vlogs. So um, thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Morton, for those. Um, another um, thing that I can uh, stick in my journal, speaking of my journal, while well, Nick's just out there. I got another one of these because Nick swiped my other one for all his tools. Um, I did get that big one but it's got a little bit full, um, so I just needed a handy one which I can take sort of like into the bedroom and stuff like that. So I'll uh, fill that up later. And we've had this come through. It's got a love heart on the back. And it says, to Nick Lodge Guy. Wonder where that can be from. Would you like to come and open it? Wait a minute. And then I can have a pie here for um, for after my uh, tea. What did you think of that stew? Absolutely and utterly delicious. It was, it was very nice. Is the internet working at the moment? It should be working on your PC. Yes it is, I'll do some comments on the day while I'm waiting for Nick to come and open this can pie. Can you Angela Heston says, you two make me laugh so much. How much of the brownies was left over at the end of this vlog? Not many. We always go through them very quickly. Marianne Fell says on the cup not to put in the microwave. Yes, it does. That's the uh, Disney cup that Nick burnt his hands on about a week ago. Yeah, it's still it's on the bottom. I don't exactly look on the bottom when I'm, when I'm reheating tea. He's still got um, blisters on his hands. They're, they're bleeding and weeping now. Dunstan says, get a wig, laugh out loud. I'm going to blow your hair money. That made me giggle. Mm -hmm. um, Andrea Desmarais says... You do that every time you read one of our comments out. I have to agree with Nick. It is important to enjoy what you can during lockdown. Enjoy that chocolate hamper, guys. Colette Rowan says, I've just got three pinch of non books and I'm impressed with them so far. I think we'll, we'll use them more, more definitely. Uh, Linda Hamilton, Highlander, says, Keep your chin up, guys. Chocolate hamper? Should we share this? No. What do you mean, no? Once it's inside me, you've got a car to open. You get on the camera, please. Well, you've so you've mounted it for me, professional. It doesn't say, obviously. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> to my Valentine. Let's look at the postage stamp. Please be mine. And it just says, to Nick, love heart, love you always, you sexy thing. <laughs> Thanks, Kirsty. <laughs> uh, have you finished now? No, I'm going to smash it. Right, I'm going to go and um, sort my toolbox out. Is it time to relax yet? Nope. We need to fix Why are you this. like the ever ready bunny? You never freaking stop. Well, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do all these. Another Amazon delivery came today. A bracket. A bracket. Same thing. For a broken um, so bob. All my clothes were sagging because this rail's collapsing basically. Don't forget to put my, my um, clothes back um, nicely. Moment, I need to put this new one on and take this old one off. Broken one. Fascinating. New one on. There we go. Right, I fixed the wardrobe. Lee just put all his clothes away and um, we just had a bit of a tidy up. I'm just now starting to open um, all the stuff that we've got from deliveries today. So I'll relax once I've done it. So as you can see there, we've got one IKEA box, 10 more, these nice chunky cushions somewhere. Where's the box with all the um, covers in for the cushions? Ah, right, they're here. So these cushions basically fit over all these white ones. And this colour here will contrast this colour. So it's kind of like a grey. It's a bit yellow on camera because it's actually these lights above it. But um, that's tomorrow's job. We're going to unpack all that. The Wi-Fi extender is going back because it's crap. So, and then I also ordered these things, which look like metal. Um, but they're actually plastic and they're really heavy plastic and then we're gonna get some topiary balls So you can see them out here in the light. So there we go 
So it looks like plastic, but it's actually metal, like a hammerite metal. Kind of like a rubber rubber solution. Brand is Terra Verde. Um, and I'm going to get some topiary balls to put in the top of these, very similar to the lodge. Get some weighted down, and then we're going to have three of them on the decking so far. And then in here, um, I've ordered some privacy screens from Amazon, which we will be installing tomorrow. Let me just have a quick look. I've still not fully opened the box. So these are what they look like. Ooh, it's tarpaulin. Actually, no, it's not. Um, it's like a it's like a nylon weave like you get on deck chairs and things like that. So we've got three of them in here, uh, different sizes. And uh, no. But at least if we get it done, the next time we do have sun, it'll be fine. So that's literally tomorrow's job, getting rid of and assembling all this flat pack furniture. Right, time to rest now. Right, before I finish the vlog tonight, I'm just doing a little bit of stuff in my journal. Uh, I won't show you that though, because I know it involves some people. Um, I want to show you a little something here. You may have seen it on our Facebook group on my uh, on our Instagram. Um, this is going into our 20k giveaway. Uh, so it says, hi guys, huge congrats on nearly reaching 20k. I hope you enjoy these Lodge Guy stickers. I'm sure whoever wins will also love them. Keep smiling, Luke. Um, so these are designed by one of our friends called Luke. He has an Etsy store and he said he would design some stickers for our 20,000 giveaway. So that is his um, Etsy store there. It is Smile More. It's actually got three eyes, three eyes in it. So it's Smile More, at Smile More. And um, these are actually like a bit of a prototype. Um, sticker version set. Ones. Yeah, version ones. He said um, these are the ones that he was going to send. And then he decided to redesign them. So they are actually available on his um, Etsy store. I'll put a link in the description. They do look a little different to them, this. Um, and he's going to send me some of the new ones for the 20,000 giveaway. Uh, but I'm going to put these in as well. So we've got Everyday's Best. Time for a nana nana, we drank the world, let's go to Florida, let's go for a mooch. Uh, right, so, because apparently I say that quite a lot. Um, so. Toasted current tea cake, diet starts tomorrow. So these are journal and planner stickers. So these will be going in, but he has uh, redesigned them because um, he wasn't 100% happy with them. And there'll be some more coming for the 20,000 giveaway as well. And the new versions are on his Etsy store to buy, which is Smile More on Instagram. What are you chomping on? I'm just going to send a picture of this to Kirsty. What? Oh, the, um, <laughs> what an ask her if it's definitely from her. I'm not an ask, I'm going to trick her into <laughs> telling me. I'm Hi Kirsty. I'm going to tell her she left her address on it or something like that. <laughs> she's not, um, she's never going to, she's never going to know that I've fleeced her. So, there we go. I'm going to finish the vlog guys. Thanks for watching today guys. Uh, hit the like button, click the notification bell, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. Don't forget to smile more. And um, we'll see you tomorrow when Nick's got a very busy day of uh, balcony DIY. I'm actually looking forward to it. Good. I'm not sure about them pretty screens on. They're very glittery, aren't they? It's like a fruit and vegetable on Barnes and Market. No, but grey. But grey. Mm. For artificial grass without the fluff. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll have to oh, find. Okay, she's typing. I'll have to find something for myself to do. You'll need, oh, you're to, doing need that. to open the boxes for me. Just type in, let's see what she let's says. Let's just see what she says then. <laughs> she says, Yay, you got it. Came late. Nick, do you really think I would have left you out? You're welcome. <laughs> so I knew it was Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you. For Nick's, um, I'm just glad it's not a pair of knickers. And we'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye.